Hey, Manny Lisper. Good morning. Found some interesting biomes. Ooh, maybe that's jungle down that way. Uh, let's see, I found some rice. Got some croton, some purple heart. Kind of running out of food. Might be a problem. But only if you need food to live, you know? Yeah, still on safari. The sun's coming up. So I got that going for me. Trying not to sprint as much so I don't get too hungry. Alright. Yeah, I think there's potentially jungle over there. Just need to find a safe way down. Boop, 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 boop. Nope, or maple. Feel like I'm in Baratory. I don't feel too good about that. But yeah, we we did find some jungle. It was just uh, a little small. Like not a lot of trees. There were some ferns, found some rice, some purple heart. There's got to be more out here. This place seems a little Akuna Matata y, right? Not sure that if the world is laid out like ours, it's in patches. Yeah, like, hello butterflies. Quartz bits. I mean, uh, it's like based on, uh, thanks for the follow, uh, Cal radius seems to be based on latitude and rainfall. Amaranth. I'll take some amaranth. I 
Hang on. It's telling me I can't have amaranth. Whoops. Get rid of the heather. Take the amaranth seed. I suppose I don't need all these crotons. Amaranth. I think I grew something like Amaranth in Stardew Valley or a Stardew Valley-like game. I see some more over there. Yeah, it's like biomes, but biomes and vintage story are kind of confusing. They're not... They're not like... Minecraft biomes. You don't just like wander into it. You wander into like a place where the conditions for the biome might happen. Or at least that's my understanding. <laughs> There's still just not a ton of information out there on this game probably learned more from chat than I've learned from uh, the wiki. Petra, turn around. Or er, Terra Prada. Sorry. Uh, Terra Prada. Hang on. I need hand baskets. I need low fertility soil. You saw Terra Prada. Near the cows on the hill. Here's cows on a hill. Oh, way up there. Ooh, rice. Do, do, do. Oh, Terra Prada. We'll build a shovel and we'll get some Terra Prada. Can't have to get rid of some of my crotons though. That will make me sad. All right. Goodbye, golden crotons. I guess I'll farm good. Eat the onions? I could eat the onions. I'm gonna eat the amaranth grain. When juice turns into soybean oil. Okay. I'm gonna eat the rice too. Have I been streaming for a long time? Like in general or today? Uh, in general, no. Uh, I basically started streaming last month. Uh, things have been going very well for me, though. I, people found me. People seem to like me all right. I've got subscribers on YouTube. Uh, 
with the amount of viewers I have right now, I just probably hit affiliate like this second. I seem so comfortable. I try to be. Like, I'm trying not to focus on, you know, being too clickbaity or, or anything like that. Just trying to be myself. I like to think I'm a very tolerable person. And I just want to play games that, you know, are fun. They typically end up being things that people want to watch. And, you know, it's not like you're going to make any money streaming in the first year anyway. Like, I've already probably, well, if I make any money this year, I've already spent more than that. Just setting up my stream. Like, I, I commissioned the VTuber. I bought a new mic, bought uh, a sweet ring light. I have a nice voice. It's relaxing for sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. My, it might not have sounded as sounded sound sounded as good uh, when I first started. Cause uh, I, it's I would I never got comfortable hearing my own voice for the longest time. But then a friend in real life said, like, uh, you actually have a really good voice for streaming. I was like, okay, yeah, well, it sounds way different in my head, so I'm just going to trust an outside opinion on how my voice sounds. But uh, now that I have a decent mic and I hear myself in my own recordings every single day, it's actually starting to grow on me a little bit. What biome is this, or is it turning into winter? Nope, it's May. It's looking a little frosty out here. But yeah, uh, Mallow. Do I not get Mallow Root? Hang on. Mallow. I want to make Marshmallow. So that's the trick to get uh, you to like your own voice, start streaming. Yeah, actually, I, I think that helped a lot. Like, if you just listen to yourself every single day in, like, a, a high-quality recording, that's important, too. What am I going to get rid of? Papyrus is just jungle, jungle reeds, as far as I can tell. I'll get rid of that. But yeah, uh, getting good, a decent sounding mic so that you can actually hear what your voice really sounds like. And it's not even that good of a mic. It's, it was like $100, which is more than I've ever spent on a microphone before. Cassava. Those cassava melons? Raw cassava. Soak in water to make this uh, edible. Oh, I'm gonna... Protons. I'm gonna miss you so much. Alright. I don't know anything about jungle survival, but protons. No. Are they 
becoming edible. Now nah, I gotta put them in like a bucket. Zip zap! Hey! You sound common as muck. Gotta go, you'll definitely be lurking when I work. Well, yeah, nice! Termite mounds. Give me some grubs. Oh good. Termites, I can eat them right away. Am I in the desert now? Why is the desert so much easier to survive in than everywhere else? Got tons of termites to eat. It's great. Bony rib cage. Yeah, not looking very jungly out here. Just wanted to say hi and hope you have a good stream. Got to work in three hours and need sleep. Lol. Uh, yeah, I gotta work in three hours, too. Went to bed at 8 p.m. like some kind of monster. Yeah, I... I can't do that anymore. I'm too old. I say I can't do that anymore, but I try every Saturday. I want that onion. Maybe eat the termites? You're always up so late you lose track of time. Yeah. I... It happens to me. As well. Dang it, I need food. But I have all this cool stuff I want to carry. I've lost the crotons, but looking pretty green up there. Maybe that's jungle? So high up. Hey, there's the ferns. We're back in the jungle. Playing games is too fun, especially with friends. Yeah, catch you later. Thanks for dropping by. I gotta follow Zip Zap so I can raid him sometimes. I've gotta get used to raiding. <sighs> Eat the termites. Flax seeds, okay good. I don't necessarily need the flax grain, but I need the seeds. All right, I need trees. Jungle biome's great and all, but I actually need jungle trees. Looking for purple heart or ebony. So far, I've only found purple heart. Let's see, we got chickens, bearded tooth, so many different kinds of food.
Oh, those are actually pretty good mushrooms. 80 saturation. This game has done a really good job at making me terrified of mushrooms in real life. Like, there's just so many varieties in this game, and half of them are poisonous. It's another bright green tree. Last time it was a cherry tree. Let's see what we find over here. Pomegranate tree. to get rid of sticks but I'm gonna yo Bahamut what is up I do hope I'm getting that right whenever I saw Bahamut as a kid I pounced it uh, Bahamut Bahumut? You know what? I never pronounced it. That's what I'm going with. I never said it out loud. Just woke up? Cool, cool. Well, welcome to the party. Wonder if that tree needs a greenhouse to grow in? Yeah. I was thinking about that. So if I find things like Purple Heart and Ebony... Like, they're, are they going to grow out in the normal, or do I have to put them in a greenhouse? And if you make a greenhouse, is it actually, for trees, is it actually a greenhouse? Or is it an arboretum? Is there a word for it? Treenhouse? 12.22 p.m. is messing with my schedule. Yeah, streaming has kind of messed with my schedule, too, a little bit. Stayed up too late a couple nights ago, and it just about killed me yesterday. So, like, I, last night I shuffled the kids off to bed, and I was like, me too. They, oh, morels. Uh, man, I want to take those cassavas home. It pains me to drop flax fibers so much. As a tailor, I love my fibers with every fiber of my being. I think there's another special tree out this way. doing a pretty good job of not starving to death. Blueberries. Bees. What are bees doing this far south? Mm 
Going south for reals this time? Uh, I'm pretty far south, yeah. I don't know if you tuned in yesterday, but I spent like half the stream just running south. And then I spent the night at a trader's and uh, woke up in the south. Expected to find a jungle fairly early on, load up and head home. But the jungles I've found have been somewhat disappointing. Some more sunflower over there. Hey, it's Barry. About to walk in front of the sun. We can see the god rays shine off of him. Beautiful Barry. Yeah, you were here. So you had yogurt. Yep. Didn't quite make it to the jungle, but pretty early on we started seeing fern plants. Got some purple heart logs, but just not much. Hey everybody, if you uh, have been enjoying my vintage story streams, if you want to uh, see more vintage story, click over here on the right. And if you want to see something different, click over here on the left. And if you just want to see more of me, click right here in the middle to subscribe and get notifications on all future updates. Thank you so much. Bye bye. <laughs>